Cassie Morotek was a graduate fresh out of Florida Beauty School. It didn't take her long to realize that as a Milwaukee native, she wanted to go back home to work and live. When I got back to Milwaukee, I had my certificate that I graduated from beauty school. I had all the hours that I needed. I had all my education, but everything was different in Wisconsin. I couldn't just easily transfer that here, so I was stuck with a bunch of hours and nowhere to go. Cassie discovered she could not legally work as a cosmetologist in Wisconsin, not even if she worked from home. She was told she needed to spend more money and work hundreds of hours receiving additional training. It was so frustrating to try to get my license in Wisconsin after going through all that education uh, that I just went with um, a great job offer that I got here in Milwaukee at a restaurant instead. But after years of work that was not creative or fulfilling enough for Cassie, her husband suggested maybe she should finish her cosmetology requirements at a local school. I found out that my transcripts and course catalog did not coincide with some of the other schools in Wisconsin. Something's different. So they don't know where to place me when putting me back into school. Facing the reality of spending thousands of dollars attending another school, Cassie reached out to the state of Wisconsin looking at other options. They were not helpful. The first thing I thought to do was to go on the website to gather some information. Um, and it seemed like it was just throwing me in circles. Um, and I like to just call people and speak to them on the phone. Once I got someone on the line, it just seemed like they needed to transfer me to someone else, like they didn't have the answer. And then all of a sudden I get to a voicemail, leave a voicemail, I never get a call back. Uh, Cassie already appears incredibly well qualified to do the job and yet she's not allowed to. It's ironic. The state is the major obstacle, and associations and other people who already have these jobs, they are the other obstacle. She has a dream, and she's being fenced out of achieving that dream by people who don't want to compete with her. Cassie just wanted to be near the work she enjoyed so much, so she took a job as a receptionist at a local beauty salon. That's when someone finally took Cassie under their wing. I was really excited that the owner of the salon approached me and offered to apprentice me. That is not something that happens every day. As an apprentice, Cassie will need to put in hundreds of hours of on-the-job training. Still, she sees light at the end of a very long tunnel. Not everyone will receive a break like Cassie. For those wanting to achieve their dream job, but are being held back by the state of Wisconsin's bureaucracy, they should reach out to their local legislator. You know, these requirements don't exist in every state. This can change. Wisconsin can improve the way that they do this and eliminate some of these ridiculous requirements and impediments for people who just want to work. For Cassie Mrotek, her journey towards cosmetology has gone over 10 years. While she hasn't obtained her license yet, she appreciates the support she has received. My husband has been very, very supportive um, with the choice that I've made. And it's been frustrating, but he's been there every time to pick me up. I think a lot of other people who maybe don't have that sort of support would have given up by now, absolutely. <laughs>